Day 29, I watched One Dark Night, directed by Tom McLaughlin, um, starring Mae Tilly. And this is just one that I've wanted to get off my list, and I'm glad that I finally got to see it for this 31 days of first watches. And One Dark Night, I knew nothing about before going into it, besides the fact that it was directed by Tom McLaughlin, who the only other movie I've seen him do is Friday 6, which I, I love and everybody else loves. So I had to see this one. And... Um, and also it had Meg Tilly in it, so I thought that was a good bonus as well. I like Meg Tilly a lot. And so I knew nothing about this movie. And the plot of this movie is that um, Meg Tilly's character is locked in a mausoleum all night by these bitchy girls who she wants to be part of their um, sorority. Um, and this happens and a lot of freaky shit happens inside the mausoleum. And while that happens, you've got this psychic... Um, back this psychic side story as well, which is pretty interesting to me. Um, it's weird because it's interesting, but it's also kind of boring. Because the movie, to me, I enjoyed it, but I felt like it just didn't... I never felt fully involved in it. And I also just felt like the psychic backstory thing was kind of like wedged in there, in a way. Even though it makes total sense in the ending of the movie, like it, it does make sense, but it's just kind of like the back psychic backstory thing is kind of like another part of this story where Adam West, the dad, and the mother are like talking about this whole psychic backstory that their family has while Meg Tilly is at the mausoleum. And it's pretty much just two different side stories kind of going together, and I like the Meg Tilly part way better, but... The psychic bad story backstory isn't terrible. It's just kind of there, and I'm just like, okay. Even though it does, it does equal into the ending of the movie. It makes sense to have it in there, but I just thought it was kind of inter kind of not very super interesting. Like it was okay, um, but but yeah. Besides that, the movie I thought to me it's weird. I I hate to say movies boring, but I thought that this movie wasn't super interesting to me. Like I didn't really feel like completely invested in the story and it's just one of those horror movies where I just didn't really care that much like I mean I thought it was I cared like I should in any average type of movie but this is this really just felt average to me and it's weird because I do like again I've only seen Friday 6 but Tom McLaughlin I really like that movie of his and this one is a solid effort it's a solid movie it's not like it's a bad movie in any way it's not like I'm trying to rip on it but I just think that it's one of those movies where it was kind of in one ear out the other movie. And also, I reviewed another Mausoleum horror movie for this month for 31 days called Mausoleum, which this movie might as well have been called as well. But it might not have been called that because it was probably released the same time around Mausoleum. But that Mausoleum movie I reviewed earlier this month, I thought was hilarious and how silly it was executed. It was so fun. And this one is just okay in its execution. Like, it's played straight... It's got a couple creepy moments. It's got some good acting. Um, it's just kind of forgettable to me. Like, I thought it was a little forgettable, unfortunately. And I hate to rip on movies, but yeah, that's how I felt about this one. It was just okay. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad in any way. It was just alright. I thought it was an okay movie. So, yeah, not much else to say about One Dark Night. But that is my review, and thank you guys so much for watching.